Hello dear viewers and listeners, welcome to our Tele Radio Escuela Tarana, the school on the air program of Deep Ed Tagum City. I am your Tele Radio host, Dani Beth I. Civilie from Tagum City National High School. Now, get yourself ready as we explore new and exciting lessons, particularly in Grade 7, Quarter 2, Module 5. This episode will help you on how to identify hazard and risk. Come and join us as we begin to enhance your skills and improve your learning in your daily hashtag TLE Life Skills. Get your modules, your notebooks, and your pens. Make sure that you are comfortably seated in the comfort of your homes. Now, let me give you our amicable teacher broadcaster Mom Mercuria A. Segura. Good day, dear learners. I am so grateful that despite this pandemic, we can still reach and teach you the skills you need to learn in life. Are you ready to learn something new today? Great! Now, let me give you the learning objectives for today. Towards the end of this episode, you are expected to know the different terms in identifying front services, hazards, and risk. Clarify and explain regulations and workplace safety hazard control practices and procedures. Identify personal protective equipment of hazard control and practices. Before we proceed to our lesson, let me ask you some questions. Have you experienced an earthquake? How do you define earthquake? Is it a hazard or risk? What is hazard? What are risk? Now, let us study the definition of terms. Hazard A situation that has the potential to harm the health and safety of people. Risk The probability that exposure to a hazard that lead to an accident. Biological hazard A natural hazard that possess a threat to the health of humans caused by microorganism. Chemical hazard Any hazard that resulted from an accident caused by a toxic chemical. Mechanical hazard any hazard involving machines in a working environment. Fire hazard, a workplace hazard that involves any risk of an uncontrolled fire. Ergonomic hazard, a physical factor within the location that harms the musculoskeletal system. In all workplace, it is very important to know hazards and identify risk. This is where occupational safety and health system comes in. Occupational Safety and Health OSH, a systematic plan of working to prevent illness and injury where you work by recognizing and identifying hazards and risk. Health and safety procedures are the responsibility of all people in front office. Here are some common hazards in front desk workstation. Hazard A hazard is a situation in the workplace that has the possibility to harm the health and safety of people or to damage tools and equipment. The situation could include a task, chemical, or equipment used. Hazard management is a continuous process that can be used to improve the health and safety of the workplace. Biological hazard A biological hazard is one deriving from an organism that is unrelated to the organism being affected. Several biological hazards are connected with food, including certain bacteria, fungi, parasites, 
and viruses such as SARS-CoV-19. Mechanical hazards. When working on electronic equipment, always be alert to any possibility of being hurt by moving parts, hot components, or sharp edges. Chemical hazards. Chemicals at the office can range from cleaning materials to chemical manufacturer. When chemicals are not used, keep or handled properly, they can cause damage, sickness, fire, or even explosions. Fire hazard. A fire hazard can be described as an accidental fire that can happen due to negligence. Such an improper storing or transporting fuels or contact to combustible gas. Ergonomic hazard. Ergonomic hazard include uncomfortable workplace height and poor body positioning. Ergonomic hazard are caused by poorly positioned workplaces or processes. Now, we already know the different terms in identifying front services hazards and risk. We clarified and explained regulations and workplace safety and hazard control practices and procedures. The next that we are going to do is the identification of personal protective equipment for hazard control and practices. In hazard identification, risk assessment, and risk control, we need to spot the hazard. Again, a hazard is anything that could hurt you or someone else. Assess the risk. Assessing the risk means working out how likely it is that a hazard will hurt someone and how badly they could be hurt. Make the changes. Making the changes means fixing the hazard yourself if you can or telling someone else who is able to fix it. Personal protective equipment is very important in hazard identification, risk assessment, and risk control. Personal protective equipment or PPE is designed to protect employees from serious workplace injuries or illnesses resulting from contact with chemical, radiological, physical, electrical, mechanical, or other workplace hazards. Respiratory protection examples are disposable, cartridge, airline, half or full face. Eye protection. Examples are spectacles, goggles, shields, visors. Hearing protection. Examples are air muff and plugs. Hand protection. Examples are gloves and barrier creams. Foot protection. Examples are shoes, boots. Head protection. Examples are helmets, caps, hoods, hats. Working from heights. Examples are harness and fall arrest devices. Skin protection. Examples are hats, sunburn cream, long sleeve clothes other personal protective equipment this may include ppe for a specific task such as disposable clothing for working with chemicals radiation hazards welding painting examples include lead aprons for x-ray protection sleeve protectors apron Coveralls when using chemicals, leather jackets, trousers, and spots for welding, thermal and cold protective clothing for work near furnaces and coal 
rooms. The management has the responsibilities for equipment. Management must ensure that the needs for PPE are assessed by a person who is competent to judge whether other methods of risk control can offer better protection of safety and health than the provision of PPE. Professional advice is obtained where necessary to identify the most suitable types of PPE for the task to be carried out. Training is provided to supervisors and employees to enable them to ensure the proper selection fit to use cleaning and maintenance of PPE. Supervision and enforcement of the PPE policy is undertaken. Evaluation of the effectiveness of the PPE program is carried out on a regular basis. Suitable PPE is provided for visitors who may be exposed to hazards in the workplace. Equipment All equipment complies with current relevant Australian standards and should be stamped or labeled with an AS compliance marking. Existing PPE shall be reassessed regularly to ensure compliance. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Regulations of 1996, employees must use the protective clothing or equipment in a manner in which he or she has been properly instructed to use it. Employees must not misuse or damage the clothing or equipment and employees must practically be aware of any of the following Change to Malfunction of or Needs to clean or sterilize the clothing and equipment Now that we are done with our discussion about front office services and hazards and risks let us try to assist if you remembered the lesson that we have discussed so far. Try to answer the following questions. Number one, what is a situation that has the potential to harm the health and safety of people? Is your answer hazard? Yes, hazard is a situation that has the potential to harm the health and safety of people people. Number two, what is a natural hazard that possess a threat to the health of humans caused by microorganism? Did you answer biological hazard? If you answer biological hazard, then your answer is correct. For our last question, what is very important in hazard identification, risk assessment, and risk control and designed to protect employees from serious workplace injuries or illness resulting from contact with chemical, radiological, physical, electrical, mechanical, or other workplace hazards? Did you answer personal protective equipment? Then you are correct. Well done. I hope that you learned a fun filled lesson from our discussion today. We have completed one lesson in grade 7 and I know that you are now ready to answer your activities in your modules. Thank you and don't forget our hashtag TLE Life Skills. Have a good day, students. See you next time. Let us turn you over now to Mom Danibet. Goodbye. That's great, Teacher Mer. Thank you, students, viewers, and listeners for tuning in. Hope you have learned something today. That ends our lesson for today. For you to understand our topic further, you may do the exercises provided in your modules. You may have also an advanced study of your topics to prepare yourself to your next lesson. 
please make sure to be with us next session here at School on the Air program of Department of Education. This has been your radio host, Teacher Danibeth I. Civili. Keep safe everyone. Bye! Hi!